In this question, we're told the unit vectors i and j are due east and due north respectively. At midday, a motorboat A is 6 km east of a fixed origin O and is moving with constant velocity minus 4i plus j km now. At the same time, another boat B is 3 km north of O and is moving with uniform velocity 4i minus 3j km now. In part A, we need to show that at time t hours after midday, the position vector of A is 6 minus 40i plus tj kilometers and find a similar expression for the position vector of b at this time. We can say a position vector can be given now in the form r is equal to r naught plus vt. So where we end up is equal to where we started plus velocity multiplied by time. So what we can say then is at 12 o'clock, we can write this down now, at 12 midday, so at midday, we can say now position vector of A, so position vector of A is going to be in column form, we will have now 6, 0. This is 6 kilometres east, or if you like in I and J notation, 6 I kilometres. So we can say that that's going to be 6, 0, or if you like, 6 I kilometres. We can say velocity now of A, so velocity of A is given in column form as now minus 4, 1, or now in the i and j notation, we could say that it's minus 4i plus j, and that's kilometres an hour. Therefore, what we're going to have is the following, and I'm going to put this in column form to begin with, r a, the position a, t hours after midday, can be given as now 6, 0, that's where we started, plus now t, which is a scalar parameter, multiplied now by the velocity vector of minus 4, 1. Now, if we want this in i and j notation, we can see now that the i components are 6 minus 4, t. We can see that the j components now is simply t. So we can write this now as r a is equal to 6 minus 4, t i. And then we're going to have plus now t j. And that will be kilometers. You don't have to do this step. I prefer working now with column vectors. You can go straight ahead and state now the position vector initially. You can state the velocity and put it straight into the form here. I just like to write it like this to give you another option. So let's now consider B. What we've got then is the following. We're told that this is starting at 3 kilometres north of O. O is a fixed origin. So this is going to have position vector 0, 3 or 3j kilometers. So let's now look at B. So we can say position vector of B, and remember this is at now midday. We've got the following. We've got in column form, we've got 0, 3, or we've got now in I and J notation, 3j kilometers. We can say velocity of B, so let's write this here. So velocity of B, so velocity of B can be given now in column form as the values that we're given here, which is 4 minus 3, so 4 minus 3, or if we like, 4i minus 3j kilometres an hour. Now, if I put this together, what I'm going to have is RB, the position of B, is where it started, 0, 3, plus now t. This is our scalar parameter, then we can have 4 minus 3, and that will be now kilometres. So that's where we're going to end up. Now, if we look at the i components here, and again, you could have done this from the start, we've got 4t. If we look at the j components, we got 3 minus 3t, and they're going to give us now, and that's going to be kilometres. Therefore, we can say, and this should be rb, shouldn't it, rather than ra, we can say rb will be equal now to 4t i, and then we're going to have the quantity now, 3 minus 3t j, and that will be kilometres. So that now is rb. I've done that the long way round, but hopefully you can see different ways it can be written. All we're doing now is considering where we started plus now velocity multiplied by the time. So they are two expressions. What I'd like to do is actually see this now physically on a coordinate axis. So what I'm going to do is this coordinate axis. What we do is start with boat A. Now, this is relative to a fixed origin. So here we are, and we've got this position vector now. And this is 6 kilometres east. 
So I could write this as 6, 0. That's now where a starts. We can see that a is moving with a velocity vector of minus 4, 1. That means every hour it's going to go left 4 and up 1. So left 4 and up 1, and then left 4 and up 1, which is going to be somewhere there. So let's have a look at this in action, and we can see that a is going to be following this path, and it looks something like that. So we can see that at time uh, 12 o'clock midday, this is zero hours, so we're going to be there. This is after one hour, this is after two hours, so we can see it's following that path. And that corresponds to r naught, or r is equal to r naught plus vt. If we now look at ship B or boat B, B was starting here, I think they're boats, aren't they? And that's zero, 03. Now this one has a velocity vector, as we can see here now, 4 minus 3. So this time we're going across 4 and down 3. We're going right 4, down 3. Right 4, down 3. So every hour this is moving 4 kilometres to the right and 3 kilometres down. Now if we drew that one, what we're going to have now is boat B is going to be following this path. Okay. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to uh, collide. That just shows the path of those two. So after one hour we're going to be just here. After two hours, we're going to be just here. Now, when we start at midday, this is zero hours, or if we like, midday. So that gives us now the two direction vectors, or if you like, velocity vectors of boat A and B. Okay, in part B, it says, hence show that at time t, the position vector of B relative to A is 80 minus 6i plus 3 minus 40j kilometers. If we want the position vector of B relative to A, we are looking for now the vector AB. The vector AB is equal to B minus A. So if we consider, all I'm doing is taking this vector right here and subtracting away this vector right here. So let's uh, just bold that, highlight that one out. So let's go ahead and highlight that. We're simply subtracting these. So if we consider now the I components, and you can do this in one go. I'm writing this out many different ways. Please don't feel that you have to do it in any particular way. But if we consider the I components now, we've got 4t minus now 6 minus 4t. So 4t minus 6 minus 4t. And then if we consider now the j components, what we've got with the j components, if I subtract these two vectors, we've got 3 minus 3t minus now our other value, which is going to be t. So what I'm looking at now is the fine. I'm looking at the vector AB, which will give me B relative to A. So let's go ahead and write this. We can say that AB will be equal now to... So consider 4T minus 6 minus 4T. That's going to give me 8T minus 6, and that is I. Then we've got 3 minus 3T minus T is plus now the quantity 3 minus 40J, and again, that is kilometres. So that is what we were looking for. We're looking for this particular vector. So that's B relative to A at the time T. OK, in part C, it says, by using your answer to part B or otherwise, show that the boats would collide if they continued at the same velocities and find the time at which the collision would occur. So what we're looking to do now is show that at this point they are going to hit each other. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if they're going to hit each other, what we can say then is this vector between the two will be equal to zero if they collide. So let's write this here, if they collide. So what we want then is now AB to be naught. We want the distance between the two or the displacement and such to be naught. Therefore, what we can say then, if we consider for I, what we'll have for I, 8T minus 6 must be equal to naught and... We can say for j, we can say 3 minus 4t will be equal to naught. We want a common value of t. So what we'll consider now is 8t minus 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, we can see adding 6 and dividing by 8, t will be equal to 6 over 8. So we can see that t is equal to 3 over 4. So that's telling me 3 over 4, 3 quarters an hour after midday. If we consider now 3 minus 4t is equal to naught, therefore we can see now that t will be equal to 3 over 4. So we've got a common value 
So common value of t, which is good. So that tells me now that these are going to collide at now. Common value of t is equal to 3 quarters. So they're going to collide now at 12.45. That is the time. Remember, t is the time after midday. So they're going to collide at 12.45. We could, of course, work out where they're going to collide in terms of a position vector. So if we take either one of these, we can simply sub it in. So if I take now rb, rb, we're not asked to do this, but we'll do it anyway. What we're going to have then is 0, 3. That's where we start. Plus now our scalar multiple. Well, t is 3 over 4. Then we've got now our velocity vector of 4 minus 3. So uh, what we can say for position of b, which is going to be the same as the position of a at that time, plus now 3 quarters of 4 is going to give me 3. And then 3 quarters of minus 3 is minus 9 over 4. So we can say that rb will be equal now. That's going to give me 3. Uh, 3 minus 9 over 4, well that's 12 over 4, minus 9 over 4 is going to be 3 over 4. So we can say that they collide at 12.45 and the position vector now is going to be 3i plus 3 over 4j kilometres from the origin. Now we can see that point is just here. Now quite clearly my diagram picks that up. That is now the position vector 3 and then we can have 3 over 4, or if we like, 3i plus 3 over 4j kilometres. So that's where they, they're going to collide, and that's going to happen at 12.45. We found a common value of t because we can see that this vector is going to be naught. If these are going to meet, they're going to have the same i and j components. So we go ahead and solve, and then plug it back in. So just check we've answered the question. We need to find the time, which I've done at 12.45, and I've gone on to show where they meet. Now, I've done this a long way around. I've done it purely based on sort of promoting this many different ways. In an exam, you certainly wouldn't have to go through this rigmarole. These questions are generally worth about 12 or 13 marks, maybe up to 15 for all of the work in here. You certainly wouldn't have to draw it, but hopefully that's extended your understanding of what's actually going on with a position vector and a velocity vector. You don't have to write them in column form. If you don't find it helps, go straight now to i and j notation as ultimately that's the answer that they want it in and you can go ahead and just sub in and solve.